This is a quick movie showing you how to create what is a firework track movie or a temporal track movie which effectively adds subsequent images as we go along. Um, this is our, our, our image that we've just got here, we aligned in a previous movie. Um, and what we want to do is show these tracks actually growing. So we actually use a macro called create firework track to do that. Now that takes a bit of time, it takes about two minutes to add them in. So I've just done a, a copy here just for convenience and we'll add them next to each other just so you can see what I mean. Okay, so if I just press add and then we'll go through, there we are. So now we can see that what we're doing is we're actually adding as we go along on the, on the left hand side. We can color this how we want using pseudo coloring. So mine may say that, let me just get rid of a few different levels here. Let's tidy this up. There we are. Maybe around 37 is probably where it starts. Okay, so now we can actually look at grayscale showing intensity. Now these these aren't actual true colors now. All these are doing are just representing intensities within an image. Um, we can create an image actually that shows us how long the track is based on its intensity value. And the best way to do that is actually to get the original aligned image and actually create a mask of it. So to do this, I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to say, right, let's threshold the values. Okay, that's fine. And make a new mask. Okay. Now all I've got here is actually just the binary sequence. And to do this, what I actually do is I run a little macro called intensity value per frame. This macro will go through and it will actually assign a separate intensity value to every frame inside the image. So for example, if we know it has an intensity value of 10, we know it came from frame 10. And then we can actually colorize this as well. So this takes a bit of time, it sort of flickers around a little bit as we run through and process the images. Okay, and the final last image here is actually an intensity by, uh, effectively, intensity by frame. So we call the red ones around in the last frame, the blue ones were only there for the beginning of the frame and so on. And we can actually look at the, uh, the actual sequence here and we can see there are the frames as we go through. So that's the intensity projection. So let's actually just go back to that sequence. Here now we can see that starts off very dark and gets lighter. So I can do a manner of tricks with this to make it look a lot neater. So here we have the color changing as we go throughout the sequence as well. Okay, I hope this helps. There's a number of different things we can do with uh, temple tracking as we do this, or firework movies as we call them. Um, if you've got any more questions, please contact your local dealer or sales office. Okay, thanks.